Okay, so in this video, we want to consider another example of geometric vectors. And here's a very classical result of geometry. We want to show that a quadrilateral ABCD, so these are the vertices, is automatically a parallelogram if both of its diagonals bisect each other. There are a lot of ways to prove this result, but we choose to prove it in this video using geometric vectors. So as always, let's draw a picture. Well, the only thing we have here by assumption is a quadrilateral where the diagonals bisect each other. So we can't draw a parallelogram off the bat because this is what we want to show. That if the diagonals bisect each other, then the quadrilateral ABCD is a parallelogram. So the reason why I insist on not drawing a parallelogram at first is so we don't confuse the assumptions to the things we want to prove. So we can draw an arbitrary quadrilateral. And as always, label the vertices counterclockwise. It doesn't matter with which one you start, but always go counterclockwise. So I'll start with here A, B, C, and D. And what is the only assumption here if the diagonals bisect each other? So we draw the two diagonals, so AC and BD. And now we can give the intersection of the two diagonals a name. Obviously, we can call this E. And then we can write down what we know to be true. So what do we know? Again, we want to show that this quadrilateral will be a parallelogram if the diagonals bisect each other. Now what does bisect mean? Bi means two, sect means cuts. So the diagonals cut each other into two equal parts. Well, how do we capture this using vectors? Well, E is the midpoint of AC and the midpoint of BD. So if E is the midpoint of AC, that means that vector AE equals vector EC, which equals half of AC. So we can write that down. AE equals EC equals one half of AC. And the same holds for the diagonal BD. E is also the midpoint of BD, therefore vector BE equals vector ED equals one half of BD. And these are the only assumptions. The diagonals bisect each other is captured using these vector equalities. And what is what is it that we want to show? Well, that the parallelogram will be a parallel that the quadrilateral, sorry, is a parallelogram if we have these assumptions. We want to show that our quadrilateral, given these assumptions, will automatically be a parallelogram. Well, how do we capture the notion that A, B, C, D is a parallelogram using vector equalities? Well, if you remember, a parallelogram is simply a quadrilateral where opposite edges have the same length and the same direction. Therefore, the segment A, B and D, E must have the same length and the same direction, right? Being parallel means that they have either the same or the opposite direction as vectors. So we can capture the statement that A, B and D, C have the same length and are parallel just by saying that, well, vector A, B would have to be equal to vector D, C because two vectors are equal if they have the same length and the same direction. And of course, if vectors have the same direction, they are parallel. So we want to show that vector AB equals vector DC. And similarly for the other pair of opposite edges, these two edges should be of the same length and parallel, therefore the vector BC would have to equal vector AD. So we have to prove that these two equalities are true, which will prove that the quadrilateral ABCD is a parallelogram using only these assumptions. Well, now we can start our solution.
we'll start proving that AB equals DC. So, AB, and the question is now, well, how do we go from AB to the vector DC? The idea is we want to involve the vectors for which we know something about. And these are the vectors on the diagonals. So instead of going from A to B directly, let's take a detour. Let's take AE plus EB. But by assumption, is the midpoint of AC and BD. Therefore, vector AE is vector EC. So we can replace AE by EC. Plus vector EB, by assumption, is half of vector DE. Right? Be careful that you reverse the order. If you look at the picture, this is vector EB. So it's pointing this way. And because E is the midpoint of DB, then EB is the same as DE. But vector addition commutes, so EC plus DE is the same as DE plus EC. And if you look at this either algebraically, you walk from D, from point D to point E, then from point E to point C, so you've walked from point D to point C. Therefore, AB equals DC. And that proves half of what we wanted to show. And again, if you can look at the picture as well, you walk from D to E, then from E to C, so you've walked from D to C, and you get vector DC. Well, you can probably imagine, because the picture is symmetric, that proving that BC equals AD will be quite similar. So let's do that. We'll start with vector BC. Well, vector BC is the same as vector, and again, we want to involve the vectors on the diagonal. So vector BC is the same as vector BE plus EC. But vector BE is the same as vector ED, by assumption. And vector EC is the same as vector AE. Once again, vector addition commutes. So we can write AE plus ED. But AE plus ED gives you AD. So vector BC is indeed equal to vector AD. And this proves that, even though our picture is crooked, that if the diagonals of our quadrilateral bisect each other, automatically the quadrilateral ABCD will be a parallelogram. Now, a natural question is, what if we switch the assumption and the conclusion, right? So here we've proved that if we have an arbitrary quadrilateral where the diagonals bisect each other, automatically the quadrilateral must be a parallelogram. And our next video will prove that the opposite holds as well. So if you have a parallelogram, then automatically the diagonals must bisect each other.